Hello and welcome to Cartridge Defense. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And this is actually one of those games that I really want to bring to your attention. I've just been basically messing around a little bit in the tutorial, just kind of trying to learn how to play the game. Because here's the thing. You may think, okay, this is tower defense. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. It is tower defense. I love tower defense. you got to know that about me. But this is the thing about this. This has... 300 collectible cards that you're going to be able to use to create your own deck. So basically you're creating a deck with a bunch of different cards that are going to be towers and blocks and various other things. You can create your own maze and then you can play through a campaign. But now wait a minute. There are so many things you can do in this game. And there's also a roguelike mode. Yes. There is a roguelike mode. So if you do not like the campaign and you don't like going through sort of standardized uh, missions in any way, then you can just play the roguelike mode. I haven't played the roguelike mode yet, but I am actually very interested and intrigued about it as well. And personally, this is one of the better tower defense games, maybe even one of the best actually, that I have seen in recent memory and this is one of those times where I really, I really just want to bring this to your attention. It's an indie game. It's, it's developed by an indie developer. And this is just fantastic. All right. So basically what happened was I started off with this tower right here. This is a flamethrower level two. This is obviously a very 80s aesthetic as well, by the way. So, you know, it's kind of like cyberpunk inspired future but in an 80s aesthetic sort of thing going on right there. Anyway, so yeah, I started off with the Flamethrower level 2. You can mulligan your cards at the very beginning of the level, so you can kind of try to get the lower cost cards because you start off with around 100 credits, which is your main resource in the game. And I basically placed it around about here. And then it changes your path, obviously. It's going to change your path because generally they were starting to go all the way through. So I'm just going to press start here just so you can actually see what a, a regular wave looks like. And you can see here, these enemies are literally just going to get obliterated because I spawned in four machine gun turrets on the second wave, which is probably way overkill for that particular, you know, level of the wave. But it's fine. It's fine. So what we can also do now is now we can see, we can look through our cards. We can take a look at the costs and you can see here, I have 200 credits in the top right. You see these credits right here? Yeah. So here's the thing. You can then spend them on whatever you want. So for example, let's say that I want three. No, I don't want, I actually don't want three flamethrowers. How about, um, how about two level two machine guns? That sounds pretty fun, right? So there we go. Then we get these two machine guns and then I can place these anywhere I want. I can place them anywhere I want. And now here's the thing. I'm actually going to be creating a bit of a maze. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have our um, our enemies run along this little area here. And then hopefully in the end, I will be able to increase the maze all the way over in this direction. And then hopefully be able to take them all the way around there as well. But I, I think that's probably unnecessary and unlikely. But whatever the case, yeah. Anyway, so the tutorial, they took me through the tutorial. The first two levels were relatively, um, I'm, I'm going to say relatively self-explanatory, but they did a very good job of teaching you how to play the game and what kind of things you're going to be expecting. Because this is actually a very creative tower defense game. There are so many different things that you have to think about here. And in my opinion, it's just really fun. It's just so much fun. So I'm going to go for this and this. I can actually go for another one. Let's go for it. Let's go for another couple. And now look at this. Look at how many towers I have. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're just going to be doing this. And we're just going to be going along here. Uh, let me... Um, actually, should I do that? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think I will do that. I mean, technically, I could do anything I wanted to. But I think this seems pretty good. And what we could do now is we could basically just have these guys go around there like so. I think this seems like a pretty decent uh, pretty decent layout. It's not optimized by any means and I could definitely make this better. But I'm pretty sure that we're going to be okay. There are only five waves in this entire level. 
but don't worry, there's an endless mode as well. If you are someone like me that really enjoys tower defense, then you can also test your metal in the endless mode. And even if you don't like any of these things, then you can try out the roguelike mode as well. And in my opinion, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to be dipping into maybe after one level of the campaign, just so I can see a full campaign level so you can actually see what's going on too. Anyway, look at this. We've got a brainstorm right here. This literally place a level three machine gun and draw two cartridges. So the cartridges are the things that you, you pull from your deck over here. So when you play them, boom, you, you slot them into this little gadget over there on the left side of the screen. And then it gives you a bunch of, of cartridges from your actual deck. It's such a stylish way of doing it, in my opinion. All right, so I like this. And there's a level three machine gun. Okay, this is going to be shredding opponents like no one's business. And yeah, we can now place blocks if we want to. Um, yeah, generally blocks are okay to place. Mostly because what you can do is you can raise the elevation of turrets... And I think that increases their range. I'm actually not entirely sure if that increases their range. But whatever the case, it's cool to have the ability to do that and to have the ability to modify your maze however you want. Because you can also you can place guns there. You can place towers there, you know, obviously. And then you can, of course, play blocks there as well. So if you don't have your maze fully you know, outfitted like I do right here, then obviously you're going to be able to with the blocks, the additional blocks. So if you don't have enough towers or enough credits to be able to summon as much tower, you know, as many towers as you need, then you can of course do it a different way. And there you go, there's perfect victory. Collect data and quit. Okay, so now there are uh, bunches of in-game currency. Now this is not microtransaction in it. it is, there are no microtransactions in the game, just so that you know. But we are unlocking these things. So we unlocked basic SunTact cannon, as well as SunTact satellites, and these are, uh, I assume, buff buff towers. It seems like mm, level two plasma cannon. Actually, maybe not. No, no. I think they are actually attacking attacking towers. But yeah. So we have two different resources here that you can use outside of the level because inside the level you have these things called credits. The credits are used to uh, power your towers and to summon towers onto the uh, onto the playing field. Whereas power cores and tokens are used to purchase things on the main menu. And as I say, there are no microtransactions in the game. I just want to stress that because I know people get really, really kind of prickly about that. But don't worry, there are no microtransactions. It's all doable within the game. And these are used to purchase packs and used to purchase individual cartridges. So if you personally want to, for example, can I go back to the main menu? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I can go back to the main menu, but I'm actually just going to go not over here. Thank you very much. I don't want to go to the options menu, but look at how look at how stylish it is when it when it goes from the various screens. This is really, really cool. Anyway, I don't have enough resource to be able to buy a pack at the moment, which is sad, but as you know, that, that's how it is. And what you can do is this is the map screen here. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to the world map so you can actually see what the world map is all about. So this is Idle Tower right here. And you can see it's probably going to be pretty massive. The amount of levels that you can go to are probably going to be pretty large. And you also have your cartridge collection right here. So this is your cartridge collection. This is the tutorial deck, as you can see. And you can basically add or remove whatever you want from any of these things. So for example, let's say that I am a person that doesn't really like the flamethrower that much. I could just remove the flamethrower set if I want to, and then I don't have to have those in my um, in my deck. And instead, what I could do is I could have something like this, which is a level two machine gun and one block. I could have that instead. So let me actually do that right now. Let me, uh, let me replace this with uh, with this and there you go I'm now adding that to my deck and you can have a maximum of 20 cartridges in your deck at the well apparently that has been increased because I used to only have the ability to have uh, 15 but now I can have more so let's actually do this place a level 1 plasma cannon with plus 50% to a random stat I think that seems pretty fun you can also use the 
Uh, you can use the arrows here to, you know, move around and everything. And I'm actually going to be using this. Place level three. Wow, that sounds pretty fun. So we're going to put one of those there. This is a really, really advanced tower. Same thing with this as well. A level five machine gun? I had no idea that there were five levels of, of towers. That's really, really cool. Okay, yeah, I had no, no clue about that. So we're going to add one of those to the deck as well. And um, then we can actually go back to the world map. And you can see here, the next level that we can go for is the security checkpoint. You can see a preview of the map. You can see your best time. You can see whether you perfected it. You can see the deck size that it, it, that it actually allows you to take into the level and the number of rounds and your starting resources. And otherwise, you also have the ability to take a look at the rewards that you're going to be getting and you actually gain a system module called Sponsored Play. I'm actually not entirely sure what that is. This, is. this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Not a sponsored video in any way. I just really love tower defense. And this is exactly why I wanted to bring this to your attention. So let's start the level and I'm pretty happy with, my, with, with, with my deck at the moment. Think it should be pretty cool. We'll see though. Not sure if it's going to work out too well. You can also upgrade your, um, your, con your control center uh, as much as you want as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, wow, I literally just got this. Okay, yeah, that might be a bit difficult, but yeah. So you can see here, if I select this, this is your command center. And what you can do is if you have 100 credits, you can upgrade this straight away. And then you can uh, summon various things from the command center straight away. So you don't even need to use cartridges. If you're getting unlucky with various things that you don't want. So for example, let's say I don't want to use any flamethrowers and I only have flamethrowers in my hand, then I can summon some machine guns through that. So that's something to bear in mind. Otherwise, let's just actually have a look here. Where are they actually traveling from? And where are they going? Um, let me actually have a look here. Okay, I'd like to get... I guess I'll get, I'll get two towers, or I could get a level two flamethrower with plus two, or uh, plus 20% damage. I think I'll probably do that, and we'll see how that works. Maybe it's going to be good, maybe it's going to be bad. I don't really know, but let's see how it works. Okay, so we'll go for something like this yeah oh yeah also um there's a tip right click on the path to set this tower's default rotation to that spot really important so for example you hover over the tower you can see exactly where the tower can fire <laughs> flamethrower fire get it yeah anyway you can see exactly where it's going to fire so basically what you can do is you can decide where its idle animation is going to take it to so for example i can tell it to go over there that's obviously the worst possible position it could be because this is nowhere where enemies are going to be coming from so instead what i'm going to do is have them go over here and that's exactly what we want so let's start that and see what happens hopefully this uh, flamethrower is going to be able to deal with all of these enemies very much hoping Ah, yes. The area of effect towers like flamethrowers, fire lobbers, and missile silos are, are effective. Yeah, by the way, if you want to see what actually, uh, what enemies are going to be coming in the next wave, you just mouse over the, um, the, the little icon over here, and then it will tell you exactly what kinds of enemies are going to be coming at you. So that's pretty easy, right? Yeah, pretty easy. All right. So apart from that, now we just have to figure out a way to survive. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's just summon two level two machine guns. I'm actually very much looking forward to that. Thank you. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of something here. Maybe, how do we, how do we make this work adequately enough? Because I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like my maze is not very good. I guess I'll just do this. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. Oh yeah, by the way. Whenever you've placed a tower down, on the first time you place a tower down, you can move it anywhere you want. So that is obviously a thing that um, is just for in case you make a mistake, potentially. Um, so for example, let's say that I place this machine gun here and I don't want to do that. You can literally just click on move and then you can move it anywhere you want otherwise. But you can only do that the first time you place it down. Otherwise, it's stuck there forever. So bear that in mind. Anyway. Let's do this. Let's see how we do against these enemies. Should be absolutely fine. I mean, we have two, I mean, three actually, level two towers. So it should be really, really good. Also, I really love the way 
every single tower has the damage, the total damage dealt and how many kills they were able to gain over the course of the game. I think that's really cool. I like that a great deal. And otherwise, who are we getting next? We're just getting more Outriders, level three Outriders. Okay, I'm just gonna summon some of these. I don't, I have never used these before. Plasma cannons, never used these. So this is gonna be quite fun. Whoa, they have a massive range. Okay, yeah, they have a massive range. This is pretty cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's place one there, and then we'll place one here. That seems pretty nice. And let's just go here and go there. And the idle animations, obviously, need to make sure that their idle state is pointed to where the opponent is coming from for maximum damage. Indeed, maximum damage. Now, I'm actually wondering. The only thing I'm wondering right now... Ah, there we go. There's the game speed. Okay, so I can increase the game speed, as you can see, through the plus icon on the little uh, dial over here. I absolutely... That's the, this is why I'm saying how stylistic the game actually is, because these things are not included in the UI. They are actually, you know, on devices that are within the game world itself so for example this display right here that i have next to me that's a tablet it's like a tablet of some kind pretty cool right yeah i like that a great deal anyway uh what else do we have going on here plus two level one machine guns uh, yeah. what do we have next more outriders i guess i'll just go for this and then we'll just go for another flamethrower right there and then we'll place one of these here i guess i mean what else can i really do I mean, technically, what I could do is I could summon some of these. I'm not sure. Can I actually? Ah, I can actually place things on the inner inner level here. Oh, that's really useful. Okay, I'm probably going to place one round about here then, and along here, so that they can literally just fire at things as they go by. That seems kind of useful, I suppose. How much can I increase the game speed? Okay, times four. Okay, that's good to know. That's not that bad at all. And you can also pause the game as well if you want to. All right, that's very nice. I like that because I was actually wondering whether I could increase the game speed. And all of a sudden, boom, yeah, I have the ability to do that. Very nice. Okay, so, ooh, hello there. Place three level two plasma cannons with a 50% increase to a random stat. Or I could go for a level four flamethrower. We have outriders, level eight outriders. Or eight outriders? Yeah, level eight outriders by the looks of things. Yeah, that, that is looking pretty harsh. So I'm actually going to go for the level four flamethrower, in my opinion. I think that sounds really, really menacing. And can I place this in a good place? R what about here? I guess. I mean, what else? Where, where else am I going to put it, right? Where else am I going to put it? Okay, that seems pretty good. And can I upgrade these actually as well? I'd like to upgrade the flamethrower to level three, but I'm not sure if I need to upgrade my command center first. So maybe I don't even want to do that because I do have a level five machine gun waiting in the wings here, which would be pretty cool. So let's actually place one of those down. And whoa, look at its range. Oh, wow. Okay, its range is incredible. Love it. Okay, uh, I guess we'll place it round about there. Yeah, it's maxed out. Okay, can I upgrade this? No, can't upgrade this. So what if I upgrade the command center? There we go. So the command center is now upgraded. So hopefully on the next uh, on the next wave, I should be able to upgrade the flamethrower, but maybe I need the command center to actually be the level that I need to upgrade the towers to. I think that's probably what I need to do. So in other words, I need to upgrade the command center another time, and then I can upgrade the flamethrower to level three. So that's actually something that I should probably maybe not do yeah 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 as you can see that's not going to work so i'm actually going to go for instead the plasma cannons first i think the plasma cannons are definitely going to be something i would prefer because this is going to do i mean you can see how much damage they have potential for they can just do so much damage from these places right here so we're just going to do that then we can place our our, uh, our blocks here we can get some more cartridges as you can see i don't have any more credits unfortunately let's place this on the high ground Place this on the high ground, this on the high ground, and this on the high ground. There we go. Don't know whether that's really going to make any difference, to be honest, but I'm going to try it nevertheless, you know? I'm just going to try it and just, just see whether that ha has, any, uh, has any impact. I'm going to leave that block there just in case, and then we can just speed things along right there. All right. 
yeah it's looking nice it's looking nice i don't think we're gonna have any issues on this level i think we should be okay and you can see how much damage the plasma cannons are actually dealing right now as well range increased by 50 percent on that one and area of effect increased by 50 percent on that one the, these are incredible wow okay super nice to see that and then we also have this mm. place four level one machine guns don't know whether that's really going to be that useful maybe not well whatever the case i i guess the best thing i can possibly do is literally just put stuff on blocks i guess just put stuff on blocks just summon these things and then just put them all along here so that they can continue to deal damage all along the path of the opponent and then we'll just start the game and see what happens yeah i think we'll be okay i mean really can you i mean you could see exactly why we should be okay right i mean i think we're we're just blasting any opponent away at the moment and there's only two two uh two waves to go place a level three machine gun okay yeah i'd like a level three machine gun please thank you so let's place one of those uh, i guess i'll place it around about there and then we'll just put the idle idle over there there we go and place these like this there we go I, I just want them all to have like the idle in this direction so that when they first pick up the opponent they don't have their rotation speed to uh to deal with either because obviously their rotation speed is going to slow them down with killing enemies that we desperately need them to kill so generally it's a really good idea to try and make sure that your idle state is towards where the opponent is coming from and that's basically it so let me just place these here just in case you never know sometimes people might get actually uh, by us and there's the there's the boss it has 1500 hp i think we should be all right hopefully cross fingers right cross fingers and i can't upgrade the command center or anything like that i have 800 credits i probably should have done something with upgrading my people but i think we're perfectly fine i mean you can see how much damage we're actually dealing right now and he's dead he's out of there there we go and now we can collect our data and leave this level there we go and and now we're going to get our our awards we're going to get uh, the ability to um take a look ah wait a minute sponsored rewards okay so wait a minute what is this you unlock the sponsored mode module select sponsored mode to replay any completed level against random enemies and collect 50 percent extra data drops each zone has a set of sponsored cartridges that can only be obtained in that zone hover over the name in the list to see the cartridge okay that's actually really really fun and that that basically encourages players to replay the mode obviously against random enemies that's cool in itself and also collecting 50 percent extra data that's also great so yeah very much liking that and also look at this place a level 5 plasma cannon with a plus 100 percent to a random stat what that is incredible can i please have that can i please have that please <laughs> that would be amazing okay yeah so there's the sponsored mode it's now it's now available and uh, we now have some more tokens as well so yeah that's that's really really nice and now we can go onto the lobby as well and you can see exactly what's going on here look at this this is a, an amazing opportunity to build an incredible maze and i am very much looking forward to playing that but i am not going to be playing that right now in this video i will be instead going over to the packs screen and buying a pack and this is what it looks like when you buy a pack with the in-game currency you're gonna it, it, wow look at okay okay i got an epic right there place a level four amplifier with plus 50 percent fire rate and three level one tesla coils all right that sounds pretty fun to me okay i like it so yeah what i'm going to be doing is i would like to go to the main menu and we're going to switch to roguelike mode okay so now we have the ability to pick a starting deck so what do we want to go for there's there's any number of things that we can pick right we can pick from anything we want and these are all different companies as well all different uh, sponsors i guess you could kind of call them so anyway start each level with a level two command center not sure how much that's really going to be that useful uh, start each level with two extra cartridges mm, don't know whether that's going to be that useful all enemies being slowed by 10 percent might be cool but i think the best one is amplifiers have plus 50 percent range i think that might be that might be kind of cool 
And we do have marksman, more range, all towers get armor piercing. This might be really cool. Yeah, I'm going to go for atom shot. I think that sounds fun. And now we have the ability to pick from two different levels. And I, I assume these are randomly generated, possibly, or maybe they're just, you know, randomly picked from a, a wide selection. And so here we go. What do we want to go for? Uh, what am I liking here? What am I liking? I'm liking the... Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know, the storeroom. I'll take the storeroom first. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, this actually gives me... What, what, what am I actually getting right now? What is this? I'm, I'm actually not entirely sure. What, what is this? Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This gives me the opportunity to specialize in various things that are going to give me a bonus to enemies that we might be fighting. Okay. Uh, poison and heat, swarming or stalling? So stalling obviously is all to do with slowing things and very expensive towers. What do compression towers actually do? Place level two level four compression towers. Sl they slow targets, I guess. Yeah, they slow targets. I'm going to go for that one, actually. That sounds fun. And now we get the opportunity to choose our targeting systems. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to prioritize the fastest. Prioritize armor shields, prioritize bosses, prioritize first on radar. Yep, sounds good to me. And now let's start the level. So you can customize absolutely almost everything about your entire experience. And now we're going to be going into the, uh, the first level here and see what kind of cards we're getting. Okay, so we're going to have to be very careful about this. Place a level one fire lobber. Okay, well, we're just going to go from here yeah i guess we'll just do that okay mm, i didn't get particularly lucky about that but okay oh level two okay that seems pretty nice a level two machine gun that seems all right and we are up against soldiers regular soldiers okay that's good to know um i'm actually not entirely sure what to go for here I'm thinking the level 2 machine gun is probably going to be the safest bet. So that's what I'm going to go for right now. We can also go for a block here as well. So if I want to place a block down, then I can place it anywhere I like. But for me personally, I don't really care about that that much. So I'm just going to be placing it in the center there. And then I'm just going to be putting the machine gun on it. And let's place that over there. There we go. And we can also choose whether it prioritizes these various things. But prioritizing the first on the radar is perfectly fine with me. So let's do it. All right, let's see how we do. Yep, yep, we're killing these really, really nice and easy. Let's increase the game speed. And there we go. First level, absolutely done. First wave, shall we say, is now done. So what's this? Unlock target tower. It unlocks at the start of each round. Draw a cartridge. I have no idea what that actually means. Okay. I, I have no idea what that what that did. Okay, well, whatever the case, I suppose we'll find out in the next in the next wave. So we're gonna get a fire lobber now. And this is gonna be really, really large, right? It's gonna have a large firing arc. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think... I think it does? Let me actually just see what this does here. Deals three damage, area of effect increase. This tower unlocks at the beginning of each round. Oh, I see. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. So... I think we'll go for something like that. I'm actually not entirely sure if this is going to really work out too well for me. Y yeah... As you can quite clearly tell, it's not its not really working out too well for me, unfortunately. Oh dear. Okay, well, we got the, the range increase right there. Unfortunately, I'm not getting very lucky with the amount of towers that we have. And as a result, yeah, my mazing is just absolutely awful. All right, we're going to have to forfeit the run right now. That's, that's done. Yeah, I just picked the wrong things. I basically should have gone for swarming, I think. Probably should have gone for swarming or something like that. I'm going to go for the same thing this time. But I'm going to go for a different map as well. going to go for the gun store. I think that sounds kind of fun. Okay, clustered attack, piercing, or stalling. Not going to go for stalling this time. I think that's a bit too slow for what we need at the very start of the run. 
So instead, I'm going to go for Clustered Attack because that's a little bit cheaper. We're going to be going for the same targeting systems as well. In my opinion. Mm. Mm. You, I don't know, actually. Prioritize Soothsayers might be really good because Soothsayers, I assume, are healers of some kind. So that might be useful. So I'm going to go for that instead. All right. So I promise we're going to do much better this time around. I will kill at least one more enemy than I did last time. So I only have to kill three enemies <laughs> or something along those lines, at least. Yes, yeah, so let's not e let's not dwell on it too long, shall we? All right. So here we go. Now we get the chance to mulligan. Not a big fan of the fire lobbers. I've got to say not a big fan of the fire lobbers. So I'm just going to try. I'm just going to mulligan the entire thing because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get anything right here what about this ah yes that's perfect okay these are both absolutely fantastic for me yep perfect okay that's really nice oh fire lobber you can go away thank you okay so place a level two machine gun yeah there we go yeah that's exactly what we want so we're going to use that and we're going to build the best maze that anyone has ever seen indeed all right, so that means we'll just go and do this. There we go. And then we'll just place the idol over there. And there we have it. Okay, so let's see what happens. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to uh, do the first wave at least. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, uh, now we have the ability to choose some more things. So let's go for this. That gives us two. And this is a Tesla coil, so I'm going to be placing the Tesla coil around about here. Tesla coil is like a... AOE kind of shock thing so obviously we want to make it so that it's uh, it's kind of like right there and wait a minute I'm gonna need to place the fire lobber in a suitable position somewhere around here like that it needs to be far away that's the problem with it you see it needs to be far away so uh, yeah this is an AOE thing so okay here we go uh, yeah, it's working. It's working better. It's working better. All right, doing a little bit better this time around. Draw a cartridge every a thousand, every thousand damage. Okay, might be useful, but I'm actually going to go for the two level three machine guns. I mean, really, how can I say no to two level three machine guns, right? I mean, come on, that's just way too powerful. I would like to move this fire lobber or delete it, but I don't think I can actually remove them. I don't think I can. There's only five waves in this level, so I should be absolutely fine to just continue with the way that I have. But I was a bit stupid with my placement, uh, all things considered. As you can see, the Fire Lobber actually doesn't even do that much damage. I think it's probably for harder enemies. That's more than likely what, uh, what it really is all about. So unfortunately, it's not going to be that useful for us at the moment. Give Target Tower extra range. The Tesla coil, I guess, and we'll do this one. There we go. I can't really place this here, you see, because now that's going to block it off, which is not really going to work out too well for us. So instead, I'm just going to place it on top of this tower over here, place the idol there, and there we go. I mean, we should be absolutely fine, all things considered, because we have two level three machine guns. And in my opinion, there's nothing that can really uh, stop two level three machine guns at this early level. So let's put two amplifiers. Should we put two amplifiers right there? I have no idea what amplifiers do, as I say. Damage increased by 25%. Whoa, okay. I, yep, yep. As I thought. Okay, so it is indeed a tower that buffs other towers. So in this case, the amplifier is literally giving 50% additional damage to both of these machine guns. That is, <laughs> well, devastating absolutely devastating and they are going to kill this boss in no time at all and there you have it there we go that was much much better than last time and i've gained some experience oh interesting okay so the roguelike mode has experience to gain i'm actually wondering what experience gives me i don't know what experience gives me but we can now go through here and we can take a look do we want 10 power cores or do we want a legendary cartridge i think a legendary cartridge should be kind of fun and now we can pick different towers once again all right what do we want to pick mm. i'm thinking probably swarm or command center what does this do level one amplifier discount whoa place a fire lobber it is always the same level as the command center might be useful whoa two level three rail guns and a level three compression tower missile silos 
Okay, we're going to go for that because that sounds fun. And now we get the opportunity to select a legendary cartridge. So let's have a look. What do I want? Level 3 railgun with armor and shield piercing. With, at the end of this round, set adjacent towers to level 3. Okay. Place a level 5 missile silo with 100% increased area of effect. Or draw 3 cartridges. Their cost is reduced by 50%. Hmm... An end game silo. I don't think we really need the end game silo right now, so I'm going to go for the uh, this legendary one right here. And there we go. All right, we'll go for the railgun, and we'll see how that goes. We're going to have to place it in a really smart place as well, because otherwise, yeah, the other towers around it are not really going to give us a huge amount of value, which is exactly what we want, isn't it? Okay, so we now need to select some things to give back. Uh, all of them, thank you. Give me some machine guns, please. There's a machine gun, there we go. There's the legendary card, okay, that's not going to be that useful for me right now. Can you give me another machine gun? No, you didn't, okay. Ooh. Oh, and then you gave me a <laughs> another fire lobber. <laughs> How fantastic. Okay, so this is a little bit problematic. Not sure how this is going to go. But hopefully it's not going to go too badly. Alright, so we're just going to go very simply... Hmm. I guess. Something like this. Something like that. There we go. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, hopefully this machine gun is going to be able to win the first round. Yep, okay. Whew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Alright, so we now have the ability to place a fire. <laughs> Fire lover, no, please. Leave me alone, fire lovers. All right, all right, here we go. This is the only one I can really use, unfortunately, so we're going to have to do it. Uh, let's do... I guess I'm just going to put it in the corner. I'm just going to put it in the corner. Nobody puts, uh, nobody puts fire lover in the corner. Yes, indeed, except me. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 it's actually murdering. It actually murdered a whole bunch. Okay, it did so much better than I thought. So I'm very surprised. Okay, very good. <laughs> I am really, really surprised about that. Okay, let's use another fire lobber right here. Apparently fire lobbers are my go-to now, somehow. Not sure how that happened. Okay, let's place that there. Uh, let's place this here and this here. There we go. And then we're going to upgrade our command center because I have 100 free credits. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's actually not going badly. Why am I why am I surprised right now? Should I be surprised? Maybe. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna actually should I should I do this? Place a level one and a level two plasma cannon. Yeah, I mean, come on, I kind of have to do that, right? So let's do. I wanna I wanna build a bit of a maze here, but I I can't really. Oh, what, what about? Oh uh, no, actually, this is gonna screw up the um. The lobbers, isn't it? Yeah, we need to make sure that they are okay. So, maybe the best thing I can do is... This is a long-range weapon, isn't it? Yeah, this is a long-range weapon. So what about if I just place it... Kind of here, I guess? Place it around about here, and then maybe place the other one... Like so? I have no idea. I have no idea right now. We have 10 waves to deal with. So I don't think I, I really need to be too, uh, you know, too neurotic about the whole thing. Oh, now this is going to be nice. Now, at the end of this round, I can't place this just yet. I really can't place this just yet because I need to make sure that it gets maximum value for upgrading the other, uh, the other towers around it. So that's going to be a bit problematic. I'm going to upgrade this. Going to get another one of these. Uh, there's a block. So what, what, what should I do with the block? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really help me that much, does it? Just going to leave the block at the moment, I guess. And then instead, we're just going to do... No, I can't place that there. I'd like to try and increase the maze a little. So what can I do here? Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to place this here. Something like that. I, 
I don't know. It's a bit... It's a bit iffy at the moment. It's a bit iffy. I, I didn't actually plan on doing this at all. I actually planned on making a really, really impressive maze that looked super, super, you know, efficient and wonderful. But the way that <laughs> the way that the fire lobbers have completely messed with me right now. Oh, all towers get armor and shield piercing. Okay, that sounds fun. Um, yeah, let me not place that just yet. Gonna do this. Oh my, a compression tower. Okay, yeah, let's slow everything in the area. I'm going to place that here. And then we're going to be a railgun, level 3. Wow, okay. This is going to absolutely murder everything. And we have another one. Another railgun, level 3. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's do that. And then all towers get... get all of this crazy stuff. So they've, they've got armor and shield piercing and crazy stuff. Okay, looking forward to seeing what happens now. Everything is literally just evaporating. Perfect. Well, not that, not that much, actually, surprisingly. These things are taking a lot longer, but they are um, sort of mini-boss enemies, I guess, kind of. So, yeah, there's also that. Let's upgrade this, the command center once more. And I can't get that just yet, so we're just going to go for the next one. And we should be fine. I mean, you can see how much damage these things are dealing. This thing literally... Look at how much damage it's doing. What? It's literally doing two th over 2,000 damage. Place two amplifiers. I could place these two amplifiers right next to these... Right next to these railguns. Wow. Okay. Yes. I will do exactly that. Both of them. Wait a minute. Should I place them right there? Or wait a minute. This is a pretty large area that it affects, right? Yeah, this is a massive area that it affects. So I could actually place them here. Place one here and one here. And that's actually going to affect both of these. Yep, yep, it does. Whoa. Okay. Hello. This is, yeah, this is absolutely incredible. I'd like to upgrade my command center again, but not just yet. These, <laughs> these enemies don't stand a chance right now. They are so incredibly dying. Okay, yep, this is this is very, very nice. I am actually enjoying this a great deal. And that is amazing. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we're just going to be placing uh, this one somewhere, I guess. Um, doesn't really matter where, I, I suppose. I can just pretty much place it there so it gets both buffs. Yep, it's got all the buffs in the world. And uh, I guess we can place another one of these right there. And then we can actually upgrade it too. So I can upgrade it to level three. <laughs> oh, I've got four level three rail guns. Okay. Have fun, boss. Yes, the boss is literally just going to die instantly, I would assume. I mean, really, we should be, we, we, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be having any issues with these guys whatsoever. They had some armor as well, by the way, but because we have armor penetration, on every single one of our towers, the armor was at literally 100% because we, we just bypass it completely, which is amazing. So yeah, we're otherwise going to be going for another amplifier. I'm going to place the amplifier right next to the rail guns. And I will upgrade the command center once again. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens. That's the, end of the, uh, that's the end of the level. There is no way the enemy is going to be able to do anything here, or at least I hope not. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, the Umbrella Guardian... Oh, never mind. It died. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. See, now, that is incredible. I love the roguelike mode in this game. I love the campaign mode in this game, let alone... I, I don't know. Everything about this... And this is... This is 35% off right now. And it's literally... Uh, like what, $10 or $11 or something like that normally? And it's 35% off right now. So you can probably pick it up for what, seven, eight? I don't know. It is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, you may be you, know, you may be thinking, oh, it's tower defense. Oh yeah, you know, you, you may be thinking that because I know it's not the most popular genre, but for me personally, I highly recommend this and Really, just just go to go 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 into the link in the description. You know, go go through the link in the description. Take a look at it, and if you don't like it, well, you know what to do then. But 
generally, I think this is really, really fun. And I really want to play more of this. I really do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And uh, otherwise, we are um, going to end this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.